Uh, nothing like a nice long nap to relieve you of all your existential crises. Good morning, Cinequel. So, uh, what are we doing today? Oh yeah, Smeargle joined our group. He said he wanted to redesign our flag. I kind of like the design as it is, but if he thinks he could come up with a better one, I guess we could check out what he has in mind. He said he was staying in the sky blue plains, right? Well then let's go check it out. Nice place you got here, Smeargle. Hello! Oh? Did you perhaps wish to change the team's flag design? Uh, sure, go for it. Ah, very well. I may be unknown, but nonetheless, I am an artist. I will do my best to create a splendid design for you. Please check the rescue team flag later. If my design fails to impress you, please let me know. If so, I will change the design to one perhaps more to your liking. It's as simple as that, huh? Well then, I guess we'll check out the flag next time I wake up tomorrow morning. Well, that day certainly went by quickly. Good morning, Cinequel. You know, it's a good thing that there are so many friend areas for all the Pokémon to live in. It'd be a real shame if certain Pokémon got turned away because there was just not enough room for everyone to live in. Thankfully, we don't have to worry about that, though. Um, it's not exactly what I'd call welcoming. It doesn't really give off the vibe of a rescue team, if you know what I mean. Let's see if he'll change it. You know, I really wish Smeargle could help us out with our actual rescue work rather than just designing our flag. However, they're only level 1, and they only have one move in their moveset, which is Sketch. It would take a lot of work to make them a viable team member, so I guess I'll just leave them to their paintings for the time being. Oh, another earthquake? There have been so many quakes lately. I wonder when they'll settle down. Santa Quill, there's a commotion down at the square. A lot of Pokemon have already gathered there. Let's go to the square right now. Mudkip, you can't just walk into somebody's house unannounced like that. I could have been indecent. Oh, wait. Oh, Lombre. What's going on here? Hey, Mudkip. W well, you should just go see for yourself. Look, it's Blast Toys! Shiftry! What happened here? They were wiped out. In the underground dungeon. You're kidding! Ugh, that place. It's rough, seriously. Ugh. We couldn't get far enough to even see Groudon. I don't ever want to go back to a place that bad. It appears the dungeon underground is far worse than we imagined. <laughs> what fools! That's what you get for trying the impossible. G Gengar! What are you saying? It's only expected that we try. This is for saving Alakazam's team. <laughs> you really find thinking hard, don't you? Even they look smart compared to you. It's too much. Even Blastoise went down. It's gotta be awful tough. Who'd want to go into a dungeon that dangerous? There's no way. I can't go. I burn too easily. I can't take earthquakes. It'd be like going and knowing full well we'd get wiped. Everyone. You see, 
Even they finally seem to understand their situation. <laughs> I... My leafy fans would burn up. The even shiftry? <laughs> Get over it! Don't expect to be rewarded just because you tried. Sometimes it's better to wise up and give up. Huh? Did I say something profound? <laughs> Oof. Cedarquil, I don't know anymore. What should we do? Even if it's the impossible, should we still try to rescue Alakazam? To be honest, Mudkip, it really sounds impossible. Alakazam's team is the strongest one we know. And even they weren't able to come back unharmed. Not to mention this trio that we were sure were going to be able to get the job done. What are the chances of someone like us being able to do it? Then again, we've pulled off plenty of miracles already during our time as a rescue team. Who's to say that we can't pull this one off as well? And besides, it's either this or do nothing. We have to at least try, right? That's what Team Go-Getters is all about. So then, let's go and save the ACT. Uh, yes, I think so too. Okay, Cinequil. Everyone, listen. We're going to rescue Alkazam's team. What? What did they say? <laughs> Hey, who are they? Can't say I know them. It's Team Go-Getters! They're well known around these parts. Team Go-Getters? You mean the lot that were suspected of involvement in the Ninetales legend? I heard about that. Weren't they living like fugitives until recently? Can they handle it? They don't look very tough. It's true. The rescue might be too much for us to handle. But, we're still a rescue team to help Pokemon suffering from the natural disasters. That's why we started up a rescue team. That's why I want to rescue Alakazam's team more than anything. Never giving up. That's where Team Go-Getter stakes its pride. You really aren't very... bright, are you? Why don't you do like everyone else and wise up? No, Mudkip is right. Okay. That's right, I wasn't thinking straight, out of fear. <laughs> we all forgot the most important thing, we are rescue teams. Pride. We have it too. Pride as rescuers. <laughs> have you lost your senses? Why would you listen to that clown? And worse, be persuaded. Why go if you're facing certain defeat? Is that so? We've only failed once. Last toys. This is no time to be lying around. Yes. No more wallowing in woe is me self-pity. If we give up, that's how it ends. Not for me. Octillery and Golem too. <laughs> you lot, that wasn't the tune you were whistling, just a little... Aye, that's right! There've gotta be ways we could get through. If we all pull together, we'll be sure to find a way. We'll conquer the dungeon by having all the rescue teams cooperate. Roar! <laughs> Uh, 
Are you dreaming? Don't say I didn't warn you when you get into a world of pain. <laughs> Thank you, Mudkip. You stopped us from throwing away the most important thing we have, pride. My thanks from all of us. Everyone, it's time to get to work. Let's show them what we rescue teams are really about. We were held up by that trouble with Gengar. But now we're getting the chance to go to the underground dungeon. We're not leaving until tomorrow, but I'm jumping with anticipation. Let's spend the day getting ready for the dungeon. Let me know when you're all ready to go. Well, that certainly killed the mood. Okay, I know what the first order of business is before we head out of here. Okay, but seriously. It's time to get ready for the fight of our lives. But first I gotta go talk to Smeargle. Well, Smeargle, looks like you and Magnemite are gonna be holding down the fort for us for a while. It would be nice if we had all of us going in at once, but we could only bring four Pokemon per rescue team in the first place. So it seems you lucked out ever so conveniently, even if we did go with a full group. Magnemite probably wouldn't be a good fit for this dungeon either, though. It's an electric-type Pokémon. Those moves don't work at all on a ground-type. So it looks like it's just gonna be me, Mudkip, and Absol. Let's see if we can make it work. Time to make all of the preparations before heading underground. Oh my goodness, yes! Mudkip's talk was such an inspiration. It has stoked a raging fire in our hearts. I will keep bringing in fine merchandise. This I do for you. So, as always, it's going to be very crucial that we bring as many healing items as possible. Even if it's tough, we could just keep on reviving with Reviver Seeds. Of course, there's a limit to how many we could bring, but that will certainly be what will get us through the end of that dungeon. Mudkip's words shook me with inspiration. Especially the part about taking pride. That made me... It, it left me choked up. It isn't just you, my brother. I am likewise inspired beyond words. But brother My brother. I will do the best to obtain even better technical machines and orbs. All with the pride of a merchant. You know, with how legendarily strong these Kecleon are, You'd think one of them would be able to join us so that they could take down Groudon in one hit. But it seems they have other business to take care of. I guess I can't fault them for it. We're the rescue teams after all, so that's what we gotta do. Aren't you remarkable? Your money will be jealously guarded, so feel secure on your outings. I'm hardly anything special. It's Mudkip who's the remarkable one. They were able to get everyone back up on their feet when they were feeling so down. Because Cyndaquil's team are my friends! We're all friends, and we're all comrades. We'll have to work together if we want to pull this off. Mudkip's words struck me deeply. You can count on me for all your move-linking needs. Uh, thanks, Gulpin. Whatever that may be, exactly. I'm still not entirely sure. Dear, I wasn't wrong about you at all. I always thought you weren't the ordinary sort. I'll keep your valuables under my watchful eye. You can go out and fight without worrying about them. I can always count on you to have our backs. I think I've just about gotten everything ready. Now it's just time to say goodbye to everyone one last time. And make sure that we're all ready to go. Several rescue teams have already left from Magma Cavern. Cyndaquil, you guys take care too. What's it like, this Magma Cavern? It was teeming with tough Pokemon, that's for sure. I'm strong against fire, but that place is special. Oi, you watch him go. The Magma Cavern is still alive with flames. You'll be burned up. We can't do that. 
We're a rescue team, too. We can't stand by idly. The Magma Cavern. Above all, there are many fire-type Pokémon. Fire-type Pokémon? I think they would burn me up in no time. But no! I mustn't make excuses for myself! Now is the time for each and every one of us to make a stand! Looks like there'll be more than just ground-type Pokémon for us to worry about in there. But I think we could handle it. We went through Mount Blaze, after all. Cyndaquil! Please take care. We'll be okay. We'll try not to be scared of the quakes. I'll do my best to harden myself. Uh, you do that, Metapod. Your words in a square struck me to my heart. I shouldn't be panicking. I have the ability to sense quakes. I must remain calm. It appears I learned something from you youngsters. I'm surprised you were able to hear us from all the way over here. Must have really good hearing. Say, now that I think about it, Dugtrio might be kind of useful for this mission. Well, my son, does Scrodon frighten you? Yes, Papa. It frightens me so much I don't know what to think. Papa, are you going to the Magma Cavern too, Papa? Have you seen her? Jesus! Of course. What do you take us for? If we were in charge, this is what we do to the Magma Cavern! Ha! Huh? Papa? Where'd you go, Papa? Um... Well, that was certainly awkward. Maybe he's getting a head start? Then again, it's Doug Trio we're talking about. I guess I'll leave him to his own devices. Looks like we have everything we need. All the preparations have been made, and it's time for us to head out. Okay, are you all ready? We're all set. Let's go, partner. Okay, all set. We should both get a good night's sleep. And we'll set out tomorrow. It's tomorrow, isn't it? That you take to that underground dungeon. Yes. They make it sound like one terrible place. I wonder if we'll be okay. You will be fine. I am certain that you will succeed, Jeffrey. You have my support. Please, go with strength. I will. Thank you. I'm feeling a little braver now. I'll go for it. By the way, Gardevoir, do you know what it's like underground? Or what Groudon is like? No. I'm sorry to say, I can't envision it. Okay. I thought maybe you knew something the way you said it. No. I only wanted to give you encouragement. I'm sorry. No, no, that's fine too. I'm happy you tried to cheer me up. Thank you. But... There is one thing that I can foresee. Huh? Your role is coming to its end little by little. My role? Is ending? You became a Pokemon in order to fulfill a certain role. And that role brought you here. Now that role... is finally drawing to its conclusion. Cardivore, tell me. What is my role? Why did I become a Pokemon? When the time comes, I think I can tell you when this adventure is finished. 
二万。Always leave me with wanting to know more. What were you going to say? If only I had a bit more time. But maybe it would have just served as a distraction. Right now, there's only one thing that's important, and that's defeating Groudon and saving Alakazam's team. Good morning, Cinequil. Did you sleep well? Okay, this is it. Let's do our best and save Alakazam's team. Gardevoir said, "She will tell me everything when this adventure is over. Is going underground the adventure she meant? Will she tell me if we rescue Alakazam's team?" Hello. Are you asleep still? Let's get going. <laughs> 